enjoyed our Movie 17 presentation, and we invite you to join us tomorrow for John Wayne, Patricia Neal, and Ward Bond in Operation Pacific. This is WTCG Update with Bill Tosh. Hello, I hope you're doing okay today. Let's look at the weather forecast for Atlanta as it is over much of the nation today, calling for cold weather, but it's going to get a little bit warmer tomorrow. We expect a high into the upper 40s. In a major shift in U.S. policy, the Carter administration now feels it might be in the best interest for Iran if the Shah leaves his homeland permanently in order to give the new civilian government a chance of succeeding. The Soviet Union is hailing the defeat of the Khmer Rouge government as a victory for the people of Cambodia. Vietnamese forces are now said to be mopping up a final resistance. Prince Sihanouk, meanwhile, former ruler of Cambodia, is scheduled to arrive in New York City later today. He will ask for U.S. and U.N. support for the ousted Khmer Rouge government. Here's the Hollywood Report from Tony Holt. From Hollywood, this is Tony Holt. An enterprising independent film producer is quietly getting together a film about the life of actor James Stewart. The natural title choice is Jimmy, being sought as a gangly, shy, tall newcomer to play the young James. It's hoped that Stewart himself can be persuaded to assume the older man role, but no word yet from Jimmy about what he thinks. And one star-studded Hollywood industry holiday bash was a real rude revelation to many stars present. The performers who got the most attention were Lassie and Benji. Each canine had its own table and both were kept busy shaking paws, posing for photos and taking pats. Plenty of ignored human actors were more than a bit jealous. Now you know where the real power is in this town. And teenage success must be wonderful because Leif Garrett, now only 17, just bought a new house in the country that came complete with a recording studio. He also traded his Fiat for a new Porsche 924. If you have it, flaunt it. Meanwhile, 16-year-old Christy McNichol of family has decided to give up singing and stick solely to acting. She was not at all thrilled with what happened regarding the album she did with brother Jimmy. It was a bomb. And despite his show's good reviews, White Shadow lead Ken Howard remains wary and more than a bit bitter about Hollywood. Howard had two previous excellent but low-rated series canceled, Adam's Rid and Manhunter. He told me candidly that if the third one proves no charm, he'll head right back to Broadway where he noted failure doesn't make you a leper. And in Hollywood, this is Tony Holt. The Atlanta Braves manager Bobby Cox was granted a one-year extension of his contract yesterday, protecting his job through the 1980 season. Braves owner Ted Turner said the move demonstrates, quoting here, the faith we have in Bobby Cox being the right person to lead our young club out of the cellar. And that's update until now. Next one, 11 o'clock tonight. Have a nice day. This has been a WTCG News presentation. In Japan, the hand can be used like a knife. But this method doesn't work with a tomato. That's why we use the Ginsu. It's a knife that no kitchen should be without. The Ginsu can cut a slice of bread so thin you can almost see through it. It cuts meat better than an electric knife and goes through frozen food as though it were melted butter. The Ginsu is so sharp it can cut through a tin can and still slice a tomato like this. It can chop wood and still remain razor sharp. What's more, it's a knife that will last forever. How much would you pay for a knife like this? Before you answer, listen. It even comes with a matching fork to make carving a pleasure. Wait, there's much, much more. We also want you to have this six-in-one kitchen tool. It peels and slivers carrots, peels potatoes, and slices paper-thin potato chips. This amazing little knife even grates carrots, grates cheese, and makes beautiful decorative vegetables. How much would you pay for all these items? Well, we'll even give you this set of six precision steak knives. The handles even match the Ginsu. And to make the offer completely irresistible, you'll get this unique spiral slicer. Down and down, around and around, and you'll have a beautiful garnish for your dinner table. Now how much would you pay? You get the Ginsu knife, the matching carving fork, 
the versatile six-in-one kitchen tool, a set of six steak knives, and the spiral slicer. You get them all, guaranteed in writing for 50 years, for only $9.95. It's the most incredible knife offer ever. Here's how to order. To order within the continental U.S., call toll-free 1-800-257-1234. That's 1-800-257-1234. In Hawaii, phone 536-6677. Or if you wish to avoid COD charges, send a check or money order to Ginsu Knife, Box 7500, Atlanta, Georgia, 30357. Or phone 1-800-257-1234. The Atlanta CETA Youth Employment and Training Program has job openings for out-of-school youth. If you are between the ages of 16 and 21 and a resident of the city of Atlanta, call 753-1386.